Hello students once again welcome to Bholanath Academy in this video students we are going to find the solution of question number 16 in question number 16 students you have to state you have to give the statement whether the following reactions are spontaneous or not okay students if it is not spontaneous that reaction we call as non-spontaneous reaction further students the state whether they, they are exothermic reaction or endothermic reaction understanding students so here students you are with the help of this given data students any reaction is given if delta H is given minus 110 kilojoule and delta S change in entropy is given minus plus 40 joule per Kelvin plus 40 joule per Kelvin when the temperature is given this reaction is going on at 400 Kelvin understanding so with the help of these data students you have to state whether the following reaction are spontaneous or not so students if it is spontaneous you have to write if it is not spontaneous you have to write non spontaneous reaction so how you comes to know students with the help of the gibbs change energy students if the change in gibbs energy is negative we are saying the reaction is what spontaneous understanding students and how you comes to know students whether it is exothermic and endothermic reaction students by observing the delta h value only we comes to know if it is positive students it is endothermic reaction if it is negative we call it as exothermic reaction it will remove the heat from the system so by observing the delta h value students if it is greater than zero students it is positive that is we call as endothermic reaction if it is negative students we call as what if system is releasing an energy we call as delta h will be negative so exothermic and endothermic reaction by observing the delta h value you comes to know but students if you want to find the spontaneous and non spontaneous reaction you have to find the value of delta g change in gibbs energy is very important students for finding the spontaneous and non spontaneous reaction so students in first reaction students if delta h is given this and delta and change in entropy is given 40 joule per kelvin so what will be the change in gibbs energy students if you find the relation students since you know change in gibbs energy is nothing but students this formula you know delta h minus t into delta change in entropy your temperature is given students this is the capital t in both the conditions students capital t is given this is capital t we are representing with capital T. So temperature is given. At what temperature this reaction is taking place, students? And the value is given. So with the help of this formula, students, we have to find the change in Gibbs energy. Now just put the value, students. Delta H is given minus 110 kilojoule. Okay, students. Since it is in kilojoule, students, here it is in joule to multiply with 10 is to minus 3. So what happens, students? Temperature is given, students. For at 400 Kelvin, the reaction is going on multiply by entropy students that is given 40 into 10 is to minus 3 so joule will convert into kilojoule per kelvin will be as it is okay students so what happens students this kelvin and per kelvin will cancel so only this part will be remaining students so what is remaining students minus 100 kilojoule if you multiply 400 into 4 into 10 is to minus 3 kilojoule what happens students minus 110 kilojoule it will becomes 4 4 just 16 thousand into 10 is to minus 3 kilojoule now if you divide the students if you so it will becomes minus 110 kilojoule and this is becoming what this will cancel the students if you divide with 10 is to minus 3 it will become 16 kilojoule so if you find the students change in Gibbs energy it is what in negative that is 126 kilojoule since the students change in Gibbs energy is negative so this will be what it is a spontaneous reaction the reaction if the value is given this the reaction will be spontaneous the reaction will take place automatically okay students that is why it is called as what is spontaneous so delta since students you know from this delta g is negative therefore the reaction is spontaneous so you have got the answer of the first question students and students what else since again it means delta h delta h value is given minus 110 kilojoule so it is negative it is a negative questions okay, since delta h is what less than zero so it is a negative less than zero so the reaction reaction will be exothermic if it is the system is giving out heat that is why it is called as what exothermic reaction so reaction is will, which type of reaction it is exothermic reaction so spontaneous and exothermic reaction okay students now second part of the question students here what is given delta h is given plus 50 kilojoule and what else is given delta s 
is given students minus 100 joule per kelvin okay, students at temperature students the reaction which is giving taking place at temperature 250 kelvin okay students so you have to state the whether if the, with the help of the data students you comes to know whether the reaction will be spontaneous or exothermic so by observing the delta h value it comes to know this is positive so it is endothermic reaction where to give heat from the surround ending to the reaction so it is an endothermic reaction by observing the delta h value now how you will find the whether the reaction will be spontaneous or non spontaneous students so for that students you should know the change in gibbs energy now you know the relation students of these three four quantities you know since delta g is nothing but delta h minus t delta s okay students now put the value students 50 kilojoule minus temperature is given 250 kelvin and again students here see students it is in joule but it is what kilojoule so you have to multiply delta s that is minus 130 into 10 is to minus 3 it will be it will convert into kilojoule per kelvin okay students since all is multiplication students this kelvin will cancel with kelvin inverse so what happens students you will get 50 kilojoule minus 250 into now it will divide students it will becomes 0 0.130 kilojoule okay students you have to multiply it will become positive students so therefore delta g will become students 50 kilojoule plus 32.5 kilojoule okay students negative negative will be positive now what happens students if you add this students it will become 82.5 kilojoule so since students you are getting change in gibbs energy value are getting positive since again you can say since delta g is positive that means delta g is greater than zero therefore it is non spontaneous reaction it is non spontaneous reaction it is non spontaneous reaction okay students so this is the first answer and the second students since since again students delta h value is delta h value is positive that is 50 kilojoule it is a positive delta h is also greater than zero so it is what the, it is the reaction it is endothermic reaction endothermic reaction okay students so this way students for four marks question students they will ask an examination this way you have to write students for four marks questions if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you